Right. Uh, welcome back to Brush Up Your Game. And uh, today uh, we are talking about uh, what could probably be called legacy of the name. Uh, the, this is Ships with the Name Enterprise. I don't care if it's from the Kelvinverse, the Mirror Universe, or the Prime Universe. It's all about ships with Enterprise in their title. So uh, Tristan is with me, as always, for these rankums. And uh, Tristan, welcome in. Uh, Thank you. I think for me, there was no logical number 14, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I, I feel like in general, um, you know, this would, this ranking might be a little all over the board. I feel like there was a lot of uh, kind of emotional investment in, in making these decisions, right? This is yeah. this is the hero ship. This is the ship that, you know, we've known for all our lives. Um, and trying to decide which is your favorite is uh, it's like trying to decide, you know, what your, who your favorite kid is. So... <laughs> I don't know that pain yet, but uh, I did experience pain in terms of uh, trying to pick my favorite enterprise because there are a lot of really good versions. That's true too. There are, I mean, there as it should be for for a game called Star Trek. There are a lot of solid, solid choices here. And I will say, oh, over here on the other table, I, I I have all the models lined up, and now these are TTS models. They're not oh, nice. perfect, but boy, they they just look good. I mean, we're missing they a do. couple. There's no Enterprise C. There's no Enterprise F or G. But, uh, you know, I hold out hope for those at some point. There's no J. There's no J. I don't ho hold out a lot of hope for that. <laughs> I don't know how you compete with a ship the size of, well, not quite a planet, but close. Uh, yeah, it, it'll be its own. There we go. You know, uh, right now we're we're doing planet uh, token uh, designs yeah. for uh, for Fremont. So one of my planet tokens is now just going to be the Enterprise J. Uh, sure. I don't know what the I don't know what the ability is going to be yet, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, I make some uh, like a four dice three hundred and sixty attack against all ships in range. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, what range? Yes. All, all ranges. Yeah. All ranges. If it's on the map, it gets shot. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get to the rankings. Uh, my number right. 14, and this is not J.J. Abrams' hate uh, on my part. This is the Kelvin Constitution USS Enterprise. Not Enterprise mm -hmm. A, just Enterprise. Uh, it, it's the named ability. Flipping a specialization card equipped to the ship and target one face-up damage card beside this card to flip the target card face down. It's nice, but it means you have to build in a specific way. You have to put yep. the specialization cards on there, and you have to want to flip them. And a lot of times, I'm okay with some of the specialization cards, but I don't want to flip them. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like the generic of this ship. I, in fact, I, I love it. It's probably one of my top 10 generic ships, but this named ability doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. Generic's amazing. Yeah. But, uh, it's too bad with how the, the name bones turned out. Yeah. Uh, I got the uh, enterprise B, you know, maybe cause it's, uh, it's not Tuesday yet or something. I don't know, Dang. but, yeah. uh, the, the ability, I, I would like this ability a lot better if it was, uh, you know, if it, uh, to me, the way I read it anyway, because it says during the combat phase, that means that at the beginning of the combat phase, you have to make the change. Maybe. Yeah. I, so I, I think it should be when defending, maybe. Yes. Um, because that's when I, that's when I want to make that that choice. I, I don't want to choose up front because I don't know. Um, I mean, I just got done with the activation phase. If I feel like I needed an, an evade token during the combat phase, I, I probably would have picked one already. So I feel like it's just it's a very kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, non-essential uh, ability here and then it's on a uh, a frame the excelsior i mean it, it's perfectly fine but it doesn't turn well it doesn't have a lot of great attack value um you know there's 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 some better uh, t the, technically none of the named excelsiors have been recosted yet only the generics so i don't even know what what it, what, what it should cost in spuds technically i think it's right. 22 right now but um so yeah there's just uh 
it's, it's also like super hard to find if you want to get it in in the real world it's one of the the rarest ones i believe to to obtain it it is uh, usually even more than the hood i think at this point it, it's so they're just not like going for it yeah it cool was picture produced oh very cool picture yeah. uh yeah it's it either needed to be a little choice of tokens that you could swap for uh mm-hmm. or yeah it i think at the time it was written it worked fine because you could do it at any point during the combat yeah. phase but the way it is now it just doesn't translate so yeah something to be yeah. fixed at some point by somebody but yeah uh number 13 uh well, for me, it's the refit constitution that didn't have the word refit in it, which just made all <laughs> kinds of confusion happen, but it has a fourth shield. I I just, I don't like the action. It, the fact that it's an action to disable up to two of my active shields, and then I get an extra attack die for each one. Now it is for all attacks with my primary weapon. I guess that's a bonus, but... I have four crew slots and one weapon slot. I, I feel like I don't have enough weapons to actually make good use of this card. And that's the the downside of it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to like this ship. I can't like this ship. I, I just, I, it doesn't work. It, it, nothing here came together for me. I like the, sh- I like the ship in the movies. It was cool to see the refit. Uh, and I like the bigger model. I like a lot that comes with it. But the named ability here just doesn't connect for me. Yeah, I, I like the... There's some thematicism um, with the ability. Because if you go back to the motion picture, they, they talk about how like the the phasers are now... Uh, Phaser energy is kind of is run through the the nacelles or something like that, and that's yeah, why they yeah. couldn't they couldn't shoot that at the asteroid. So you know you're 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 redirecting that that energy uh, to to some other part of the ship. I think that's kind of cool. But to have an action um, in this day and age, to have an ability like that that requires you to spend your action is kind of a non-starter. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. and it needs a tech slot. It does need a tech slot. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, actually, uh, now that we're talking about this, oh, I, I, I have it slightly higher than you, than you here, but not much higher. Okay. Um, uh, I got the, you know, the, you just mentioned the Kelvin one, um, pretty much for all the same reasons. Uh, the the main thing for me is there's only like what four or five specialization card crew, uh, and, and captains and and one admiral, I guess. No, is is, is he? Uh, yeah, he an am- yeah, he is. Yeah, because he's he, of course he's an admiral, so he's gonna have a captain version. Yeah, but um, yeah, I just there's there's too many limited options. I, I like it's an intriguing ability. I, the the specialization card thing is intriguing. Um, if they you know created more down the line, maybe this would become a more viable option. Uh, but then it's just flipping the the damage down. It's not even repairing the damage. It's kind of yeah. So. Uh, the generic's a lot better. Right. If this had said something like flip a target damage card face down or repair a flipped mm-hmm. down damage card, that would have been really yeah. cool. Give me a choice there. Yeah. Like that a, like actually would have shot it up now. a yeah. lot. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. Uh, number 12 for me, I know, probably blasphemy that I put an Enterprise D this low. But uh, I do like the timing because it's during the roll attack die step or the roll defense die step. You can switch a token. But again, I'm limited on tokens. I, I just don't like it. If I wanted a battle station token, I would have taken battle stations at the beginning. And I, I feel like this ability is really cool, but it's wasted on a galaxy class. I want it... I want this on like a defiant class, an intrepid class, something with two defense dice where I might actually want a defensive battle station. But at least the galaxy has a tech slot. I'll take that. Yeah, that's that's, that's always good. Well, I, I still think there's a lot of flexibility to that that uh, that ability, but it's definitely not the the best enterprise D. So no. I think we've established that before. 
Uh, I'm just getting the Kelvin universe out of the way. I have no problem with with the with the the Kelvin verse, uh, but I I again have some issues with with the ability here. Now we're spending an action, um, which isn't fun. You still have to have those specialization cards, so you're really limiting what your crew options can be. Um, and like I said, you know, you also want to have to flip that card over, and you, there's just again too many conditions here to repair one shield. Um, seems like way too much. Yeah, it's this barely passes my is it better than evade? Um, because end of the day, repairing a shield is better than evade because if you don't get shot, it is better than evade. Mm -hmm. uh, and you might actually want to flip a specialization card. But it's rarely better than evade. This is, yeah, it's tough. It's my number 11. Um, I do like the slot loadout on it, and that's yeah. about it. Um, but versus the generic, yeah, I've got a tough time. Um, yeah, both the, the, the Enterprise and then the Enterprise A, Kelvin, have the same slots. So yeah. it's, it's okay. Um, but yeah, it's sad when I, I look at them and I go, yeah, I'll just run the generic. Because that's what happens most of the time. Yeah, there's not, there's not too many too many ships where that that choice is is made that easily for you. But. No, this is one of the very few. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna catch up with you here with the uh, refit Enterprise. Okay. Again, uh, it should be a lot better than it is. Um, you know, if it were made now, I'm sure that wouldn't be an action. It might just be a sort of combat phase or maybe get an aux token or something like that and it needs it needs a tech slot i mean i get where they're coming from with you know that they're making these early ships be not as technologically advanced but i mean uh if you're a fed ship you need at least one tech slot in my opinion yeah i i understand the nx not having a tech slot i i even can understand the original enterprise but this yeah. is now a refit yeah it should have a tech slot yeah. So, all right. Well, I'm going to catch up with you. Now I've got the Enterprise B in my number 10. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's everything you talked about at the open. It's, again, if I wanted an evade, I would have taken an evade. The only thing I will say is if I want to run a low captain skill, I'm okay putting them on Enterprise B. Mm. Let the Enterprise maybe play a blocker position, take the action that I'm going to take, and then I get to combat fa combat phase, and then I go, oh, I'm going to get shot a lot. I'm going to swap to an evade. Or it's, I don't have a shot. I don't need that battle station token or that scan token even that I had. Um, mm, guess I don't need it. Let me swap out. Uh, you could also even run... Um, it's the Alliance card that gives you two scan tokens. Uh, yeah, uh, Science Officer. Science Officer. So if you run Science Officer on the Enterprise B, you can swap one of those scan tokens for an evade. It's not great, but it's possible. It's at least yeah. a... Again, I, I'd much rather be able to swap that for, say, a battle station, but that's not the ability here. It's... It's okay. I don't love it. Uh, I don't love any of the cards this low, but uh, shortly, shortly we'll get to cards I start liking. All right, I got the uh, Mirror Enterprise D here. Uh -huh. um, you know, way too many weapon slots, uh, no yeah. tech slots. It's, it's Mirror, which means that, it, you know, if you actually want to run anything fed, it's going to cost more or you just can't run it if it's fed limited. Um, ability is okay, but, I mean, it doesn't start with a lot of shields to begin with compared to a lot of, you know, Federation ships. So um, I don't know if I want to trade off what defense I have for, for one more attack die there. Um, yeah, I just uh, wasn't impressed with it in our galaxy rankings and it doesn't do anything for me now either. Yeah, um, I think 
the the one thing I, I like about it, and it is my number nine, so it's not like I like it more than you do, functionally. Um, disabling a shield at the time you're rolling the attack dice. So you may have already been shot. Uh, you may yeah. not. You may know you're not getting shot. So there's timing there. That gives you a sixth attack die. It's not an action. It's you know there's not really anything going on there. Uh, it does have too many weapon slots. No ship needs three weapon slots. Um, Especially mirror, because they don't have really maybe one, maybe two decent they don't. secondary weapons. They you know? don't. Um, I mean, 360 fire, certainly helpful on here. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess if you can get quantum torpedoes or something like that on here, but then do you really need the extra die? Uh, and I guess that's the other thing. It's not limited to primary weapon for the extra. Yeah, die. That's a good point. It is yeah. any attack, um, but it's not each time you attack. So that's the downside. Um, I don't know. It, it's very just middling to me. I do like the stat bar enough, but it's another one of those ships. that hasn't been recosted. Uh, I know it's been recosted in spuds, which is what helped it a bit for me. Um, yeah. Looking back on it, I'd probably drop it a bit only because I don't like it. But I guess, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll stand by my rankings. It's not amazing. And nothing else is really standing out as like it should be way better other than maybe the token swap Enterprise D. But yeah, I'll live. Speaking of Enterprise D, I got another another one here. This is the original. Um, you know, I, I still like this one. Um, I, I think I had it pretty favorably ranked in our Galaxy rankings. But, um, you know, it, it does lack the tech slot. Uh, it I, I, again, I, I feel like that's that really is a, is a big bummer for any Federation ship. Um, 360 ability, though, is, is perfectly fine. But I just think there's some better, more versatile options out there. Yeah, I get you. I see what they did with the mirror, though. They just took one of the crew slots and made it a weapon. Yeah, from exactly. this original D. Yeah. So. All right. Well, that brings us to number eight, and my number eight is the refit. Very good. The the refit Enterprise A, and uh, there was a time. I adored this ship. If you had asked me to rank my enterprises, it probably would have been in my top three. Um, but then came either the ruling or the clarification. And I don't need that debated. It is what it is, but that you had to have a token for each ability. Mm-hmm. And um, it's, it's not that this is a bad ability. It's, it's a good ability. It's just not on the best of ship frames and uh, the refit dial is not spectacular Uh, if you really want to make this work you're limited to a scan action Um, you can't guarantee that your opponent's cloaking if you know that they are this is a much better ship but uh, short of that it's a tough ship to to pull out Uh, plus it was a grand prize ship so yeah I feel like I, I shouldn't have a grand prize ship way at the top. Uh, not that I, I want to let that completely limit my rankings, but it, it's, I, I think this ship has just seen better days and um, yeah. So that's why it's down for me. Yeah. I mean, I think the uh, can't over overemphasize the fact that it's again, one of those almost impossible to find ships these days. So it, it's always hard for me to, look at a ship in a favorable light when it's not really playable for a lot of people outside of tabletop simulator. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got the, uh, the NX-01 here. Um, and I really do like this ship. This is the ship that, again, really needs to be recosted. I, I, I want to see another NX-01 um, before too long, hopefully. Uh, you know, the, the stat line isn't super amazing, um, but, you know, three evades is pretty good for a Federation ship. The no shields looks pretty scary until you realize you can 
uh, put enhanced hull plating on there for free, uh, and that's where your, you know, your your shielding is effectively coming from, right? Um, it's too bad enhanced hull plating can only be used, I think, once per turn, uh, yeah, because it's one of those optional abilities. Um, and you gotta accumulate a bunch of uh, ox tokens. You gotta figure out how you deal with those. But I mean, you, you can have a, a pretty, pretty, uh, uh, you know, uh, crafty ship there that's gonna take some damage. Um, and there's some ways you can build that out. And, and and I think it's a nice little support ship, honestly, for, especially if you're doing kind of uh, yeah, era theme for uh, for for Enterprise. Um, and there's some things you can do with it. So I, I do think it's fun. And I think the design of it is cool. I know some people aren't aren't a, aren't a fan, but uh, I I like it. Oh, I like it too. I like the refit yeah. of the Enterprise more, but that's the honestly. I I mean I I get it, but to me it's like yeah. Now it's getting a little. I mean, this one is derivative of the of the Akira. It is the other one's more derivative of the Constitution class. I it guess is. it depends upon which which it's derivation you like better. But. I like the fact that both exist. And I really like the fact that now I can say the refit Enterprise NX and people actually know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because for years, people had no idea what I was talking about unless they were a super nerd. Yeah. And it's been very, uh, very common now. And yeah, finally canon, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I I will say personally, I have had about enough of facing the Enterprise NX because in my um, these are the voyages series playing through the missions been playing. Uh, the Enterprise era missions and I've always been going up against the NX and that is one crafty ship I don't know if are you familiar with the dial yeah I mean it's got a great it's got a great little dial I think it's only got what one uh, one red maneuver which is a come about I believe yeah Um, it has the the three come about on it Mm-hmm. is red yeah but the two yeah. come about on it is not is not and um i guess i don't have the maneuver dial pulled up but it, it's it's crazy good it doesn't move fast it caps out well, at a three but which makes sense yeah it yeah. does but it's still it's a crazy good ship and it's durable and those three native defense dice are also really good mm-hmm. uh yeah it's my number seven so it's not like i'm way higher than you but it's a solidly good ship and uh i i just like the ship i i like all that's put into it um i've kind of gone up and down with it but it every time i i look at named ships named enterprise nx falls in the middle for me uh even if i go like ranking the the hero ships of star trek the nx falls typically in the middle for me Uh, i like it more than a constitution it just has that like yeah this is kind of like the first thing we'd send into space uh yeah it's just it's a good it's a good ship it looks good. It flies well in Star Trek Attack Wing. It works for mm-hmm. me. I like it. Yeah, it looks like we just kind of flipped here on our 7 and 8. Yeah. Uh, I got the Enterprise A. Uh, I mean, I, I like this. I think it, especially now with kind of the resurgence that, that the Romulans have, you, you've seen you know more cloak ships than, than you might normally see, at least in the games I'm playing. So that extra uh, attack dice is nice. Um, it works really well, I think, with Mr. Spock. He gives you your free scan token, and then you can you know do a battle station otherwise. So there there are some ways to work with it. And finally, we have a constitution that gets a gets a tax slot. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, I'm never going to see this in in real life, but it's nice to see it. It's nice to see it in tabletop. Yes, I, I mean, I was one of the fortunate ones to be playing back then and win one as a grand prize, but. Yeah, it's fortunately this is like the only thing in the pack that is really good. Um, the rest of the pack, meh. Yeah, yeah. I I know it's still WizKids needed to have a system where they reprinted uh, prize cards. Hey, there we go. There's a there we lineup. Go. All right. 
yeah the the iss enterprise it's um i mean now we've already been getting into good ships but uh, for me the iss enterprise is a, a very solid ship uh, getting an extra attack die for a ship that you've target locked uh having a tech slot having mm-hmm. two crew two weapons uh it just it feels right it, it feels like it it hit correctly and then the crew that go with it play great supporting roles yeah. um, and, and the the combos this is kind of like entry level combos that you just put the iss enterprise with crew that came on the iss enterprise and you don't have to overthink it it just works yeah yeah uh and natural fit for Sulu and, and Mr. Spock, the, yep. the mirror versions. Uh, I like also putting Alyssa Ogawa on there mm-hmm. to help clear off that disable on Sulu. And um, then you got some space to put on some weapons. You know, and it's, it's not just plus, you know, it's not just limited to primary weapon here. You can, you can do it on the secondary. So you can boost some torpedoes or, or what have you. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice little ship and it's got, you know, five, five slots that's that's great for a, a ship this size and, and cost it is uh plus the little neat thing the icon in the bottom left is a constitution with the saucer on the left and if you look on oh, yeah. normal constitution it's a saucer going to the right i've never noticed that before but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's nice nice little touch yeah. no it's great I, I love when they do those little things all right uh, that brings us to number five okay so you're now caught up with me you want to go first since you're doing the catch-up sure yeah i mean i i still like this one i i think there are some nice combos you can run there are some uh some little tricks you can do to avoid uh you know your your opponent's attempts to disrupt you things like um I know I can't think of the guy's name from, from the uh, um, from the the Vulcan pack. He he takes away your your battle station and gives himself a scan. Um, Vorik. Oh, okay. You know Vorik yeah. or Talshiar Scout. You know that that, that that targets specific tokens you have. You can kind of work around that, and you still get that battle station later on during your attack phase. And uh, or if you have cards that can generate some of these other tokens for free, and then you can convert that to a battle station later and, and free up sure. your action for something else so i i still think it's kind of fun um uh, and i understand it it's limited to that extent but um if you're willing to kind of play around with it, it it's nice and again it's got a nice assortment of of upgrade uh, there maybe two weapons aren't necessary but you can put type 10 phasers on here so i'm not i'm not gonna knock that um no so it's a nice version of the enterprise d yeah I, I okay i i think for me the reason i have it so low is it's more work than I want to put in to make it. Sure, yeah. Especially when I have other better options of running an Enterprise D. Doesn't mean it's not worthwhile. It's just, yeah. I guess I'm too lazy to run it. Uh, Yeah. So my number five is the uh, Cartoon Enterprise. Don't get me wrong. Action repair up to three shields on this ship is great. If only it had a tech slot that let it get more shields. Mm-hmm. I think that's the the only downfall for me. Other than that, it's great. I, I love, 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 love what's going on with this. I mean, it's an action, but the fact that you can get your shields back is, is fantastic. Uh, yeah. And you've got the crew slots to enable a whole bunch of stuff. If you really get adventurous, you could spend... Uh, you can add tech slots. You can use Eric Maltz or Bolana Torres to get extra crew slots. You can run a, a captain yeah. to get a tech slot. Then you've got your tech slots. Uh, systems upgrade fills any systems slot. Upgrade. So that's the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's lots of ways to do it, but you're going to be spending a lot of points to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is the ship that. Uh, I mean, luckily it's cheap, so you, you can you can load it up. Um, I've I've run this uh, pretty. I think it was like a forty-five-ish point 
uh, version of this one that was pretty beefy. But yeah, you, you have systems upgrade plus reinforced shields. Now, now you're maxing your shields out and you can repair. Um, you know, you get a captain with an elite talent slot, and I think legacy of the name is the natural fit for a uh, elite talent here yeah. because being the enterprise, you can do any action as a free action. Um, so, and you're not going to have to do this action every every turn, hopefully. Um, so, you know, when you run out of shields, you refill it, and then in a couple turns later, you can do it as a free action again with legacy of the name, as as uh, as the case may be. So. Um, there, there are some fun, some fun things. Thing, yeah, excuse me, some fun things you can do with that, um, and uh, make it last quite a while. It is. Uh, it, it feels like a, a little bit of a limited equinox to me, and I was a fan yeah. of the early days of the uh, equinox shield knot build. So, I like that. All right, uh, my number four is the old tiny prize the uh, perform an action listed on your action bar while you have an ox power token well one or more ox power tokens uh only thing holding it back doesn't have a tech slot and i feel like we're both beating a drum there or singing like a broken record but uh yeah it's it's a great ability uh pair it with Catherine Janeway and you got a mm -hmm. double of whatever action you want uh, evade scanner battle station but uh, it works well uh, it's fairly cheap um, yeah I, I've run it I, I like it uh, you get your crazy crew combos and it all works well uh, it's not my favorite by any means but it's it's a really solid enterprise which makes sense. It, Kirk's Enterprise should be a really solid Enterprise. Yeah. And and I will say, I, I do, I will give the Constitution class a little bit of a pass on the no tech slot because you have four crew and you can just convert one of those with systems upgrade. Yeah. Plus you get an extra shield out of it. So um, it's not as much of a, de of a deterrent to me. True. Okay. Yeah. Let me grab number three here. Do we line up? There we again? go. Nope. We did not. Uh, oh, uh, similar, but not quite. No. Yeah, so mine's the 360 fire. This is, I think, finally lining up with you um, yep. from way back yonder. Yeah. yeah you're number nine. Uh, I don't know. I just, I like having 360 fire built in. Um, it's not everything. It doesn't have to be everything. It's a good named ability. And, uh, you know, it, it came in the starter. I think it's the one of, like, three or four cards from that starter set that still hold up today. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, Captain Picard holds up. I think this holds up. And um, the generic Vorcha holds up. And that might be the yeah, end of sure. it. But, uh, yeah, it, this, is, this is still a good ship. And the fact that you get your fourth die at range one uh, never hurts. Um, I know you're losing a die for having the 360 fire, but for a ship that turns uh, worse than a Cadillac, uh, I'm talking like the sure. old 80s, 90s boat of a Cadillac, uh, same kind that I learned to drive in. Uh, yeah, this is this is still a good ship. Well, I have the other uh, Enterprise from the other starter sets, and uh, I, mean, I think it's just a great, great balance of uh, slots, stats, cost, uh, ability. Um, it's just very well rounded. The only thing it doesn't do well is is maneuver, unfortunately. But um, it, it's a great all around ship, uh, and maybe one of the most balanced ships in the game, honestly. Yeah, I, it is my number two. I agree with everything you said. Uh, you know, the Sutherland got all kinds of love in that starter set. Mm -hmm. uh, and, hey, I'll be guilty of it. I love the Sutherland a lot more than the Enterprise. I, I think I was more excited to go, oh, hey, a Nebula class, that's new that it actually works well. Uh, but this has stood the test of time as well, that it is also part of a defensive fleet. You can make a lot of good stuff happen with it. And I continue to like this and I keep coming back to it. Yeah. Well, I'll drop 
my number two here so we can catch up. Okay. Uh, original Enterprise, um, you know, would like to see, it would be nice to have it reprinted just to have an official recosting on it, but um, even at 22 points, I think it's a pretty, it's a great ability. Uh, so, um, you know, we, we, ha- we have seen other ship classes where, you know, same ship class, better ability sometimes costs more. So I, I could see that happening here, but and the ship just laughs at aux tokens. Yeah. Um, and especially now with, uh, you know, the more recent faction packs, we see a lot less emphasis on actions being done by cards but rather as an offset for an ability, you take an aux token. And here, that's not a drawback necessarily. Uh, y- you mentioned Catherine Janeway before, great fit. I love putting Janeway on here with all po- uh, full po- is it all power to phasers, uh, which is just the constitution class that, you know, that gives you an aux token. And then now you have the new Cisco that allows you to re-enable all power to phasers every turn. Um, or full power phaser barrage, I'm sorry. Full power phaser barrage every turn. Uh, he gives you an aux token, but who cares? Because you're just going to keep doing that over and over again. Uh, you put Mr. Spock there uh, as a crew. So now, Janeway, you're doing two scans. You're converting your uh, your 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 uh, attack roll. You're taking away your opponent's defense dice. You're very likely going to end up rolling those three extra dice with full power phaser barrage. and. It's a pretty nasty looking ship. Plus, then you still have space left over for systems upgrade and uh, reinforced shields. So, um, yeah. makes it a, a pretty terrifying ship um, for a very simple ability. It does. Well, uh, that brings us to number one. And, uh, you know, there was one ship that was missing. That's the Enterprise E. Yep. I. I mean, one, the Sovereign class is a great class of ship. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Two, this picture is a good picture. Uh, yeah. You know, action, nice action picture. Uh, but then then you get the stat line, 5-1, five, 5-5. Five, five. Two crew, two weapons, attack. And on a ship that actually feels like it can utilize two weapon slots. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would I, I would not have faulted them in any way for giving me a third crew slot and you know making this a six slot ship would have been nice, nice little bonus there. Yeah, that would have been nice. Um, because there are times I feel like I need a third crew, but you know, there's ways of getting that. Uh, that's why it came with uh, Ahab Picard, so you could pick the slot mm-hmm. you needed. Uh, but then the named ability being able to fire a torpedo without needing a target lock, uh. And if you do, you take an Ox Power token. Oh, no. Uh, but this is how to attack cloaked ships. Yes. With quality. Or how to fire a torpedo and still have reroll potential. Uh, yeah, there, there's just there's so much good that happens on what amounts to a really good ship. A really good uh, space frame. And it... I don't think I quite put this at number one instantly, but I I looked through my enterprises and I went, is anything better than the E? No? Okay. Next. And went yeah. out there. Yeah, I, I was pretty pl- close to putting the original Enterprise up there almost just for sentimental reasons. And I, I do like that one. Um, I, I feel like the Sovereign has, has taken some of the E's thunder. Uh, uh, especially lately, everyone just wants those those free, free admiral actions. But uh, I mean, you can't ignore the fact that you can fire at any ship you want with torpedoes. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if your opponent's cloaked or or not. It, it it's just it's fantastic. Um, you got two weapon slots, so you can run two different torpedoes now, especially with the new time token torpedoes you can just fire those off every turn uh, and you're gonna get six guaranteed damage it's uh, it's nasty and there's more than a, enough ways to deal with that aux power token where it, you know it doesn't really matter so um, very very dangerous ship very very dangerous indeed okay well that's our rankings um, but before we sign off uh, Tristan I I have a question for you. 
Yeah. What, what enterprises are missing in your estimation? I mean, obviously the C isn't here. Mm -hmm. uh, one can make an argument that the G should be in existence at some point. Sure. Uh, I personally would like to see the F because I think that's a cool ship. If we don't get any background cannon, any STO cannon, give me an Admiral Shelby card and I'll be happy. Sure. Call that a uh, day. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I think those F and G, I, I, I think are pie in the sky at this point, but I, I certainly too. wouldn't mind seeing them. Um, you know, I think the the J is a pie, a, a couple, a couples pie in deep outer space. Yeah. Um, but what I would love to see uh, would be a strange new worlds version of Pike's Enterprise. I I'm with you a hundred percent. That's like I I don't know that that it may not be at the top of my list, but if it's not at the top, it's certainly number two. Um, yeah. I definitely the, want to uh, see that. Yeah, the other one I I would love to see a new NX01. I, I want to see, um, I want to see two faction packs. One would be Zindi, and the other one would focus on uh, the coalition of planets. So you get a, you get two NX classes. You get a the Enterprise. You get the Columbia. You get a recosted Surak class, and then maybe you get a new Andorian ship or something like that. Okay, uh, that's what I would like to see for sure. Uh. So some other enterprises I, I think we could potentially see. Um, the uh, one, the ISS, or not the, yeah, the, yeah, the ISS NX is missing. Mm, yeah. And I think as much as I want to see Pike's Enterprise, I think the ISS NX is at the top of my list because it will help mirror not that an NX class really does everything, but it would help. Yeah, that'd be an interesting one. Um, um, it'd be kind of nice to, because the, the only other mirror, enter, mirror, well, you have the, the Avenger, which I really like. Uh, that's a great ability to, to you know, to, to turn the, the Ox uh, token on its head there to yeah. take a disadvantage into advantage, but you also had the Defiant, which um, you know another hard to find ship. So it'd be nice to to, to get a, a mirror NX crew uh, with a lot better availability. Yes, um, I think low odds that we see the uh, alternate future NX from the Delphic Expanse. That, that would be pretty cool, too. I like that. Uh, and there were two of them, in fact. There's the one where they don't stop mm. the yes. Zindi, and so they're out on the colonies uh, yeah. when T'Pol takes care of Archer. There's also the one where Enterprise gets stuck in the Expanse, and you yeah. have T'Pol's child as the captain of the Enterprise. Yeah, I think that, that those would both be very interesting because I could see those being uh, dual faction. I could as well. So yeah. Yeah. those have, I think, low possibilities, but they exist. Um, I think Pike's Enterprise also has low possibilities, but I really want it. Mm-hmm. I want to see a re. I want to see a new version of the Enterprise A. Uh, not that nice. the A was bad, but I want to see a new version of it, or even a straight reprint of the ship. Give me the exact same version, uh, and it can have the Yorktown as a com uh, composite ship, since it was the Yorktown, just recommissioned. Yeah, you're right. Because uh, why not? I think that's fun. Uh, I think you can reprint the Enterprise B straight up. Um, yeah. I like although I that. think a new ability would be better. Or at least fix it a bit. Um, yeah. And then I think... I mean, a Picard Enterprise D would certainly be nice. But highly unlikely. Fun. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I think, I think realistically, um, a re reprinted NX, especially one that would have a, uh, a shipbuilding card, some sort of construction card, because I feel like the omission of the NX01 for the prototype, I, I can't. I, I I feel like it had to be deliberate. Like like maybe that was some sort of future proofing that we that that was being done there. Because uh, how do how do you miss that otherwise? Um, so I feel like they they need some sort of NX construction card. Um, and, and man, I, I I I feel like you know people have to be clamoring for strange new worlds at this point. It's just it's a fantastic show, um, and it's got some great uh, great characters to to make some cards out of. Um, and you know I would be okay if they even shipped it with a tiny prize, <laughs> just just to get it out there. I, I, I'm fine with that. Sure. I mean they have both models, but I'll take whatever they give us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need a new version of the E, perfectly content. No, and we just got Sovereign. No. There's a there's a dozen different Enterprise D variants you can do. Uh, yeah. Parallels the We Won't Go Back Riker. Uh, a Kazon or not a Kazon a, a Ferengi, Ferengi Enterprise D that mm, got captured. Sure. I mean, yeah. I know that's what captured's for, but would still kind of be cool to see it as a proper Ferengi ship for a moment. I don't know. Yeah, it's fun. There, there, there's options out there. I I think there's some cool ideas, but. Uh, I think... Well, we know that uh, Whiskers isn't afraid to do some deep cuts, so I mean, it's it's nice to 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 know that they are willing to go to some of those more might be considered more obscure versions uh, of a ship like that. Well, if you want deep cuts, you go uh, get the comic series where they went, uh, where they took Picard's Enterprise D crew to the mirror universe or followed. Mm, yep. Well, they followed their mirror universe versions, I should say. Yeah. That, that was a, an intriguing storyline. Um, and it would be fascinating to see their mirror universe cards. Well, I guess you know. And speaking of an alternate, the, the one at Enter, version of Enterprise we probably haven't mentioned would be the future Enterprise, the three warp nacelle version. I've given up um, hope on that a long time. Yeah, ago. I don't, I don't expect to see it, but I would have loved uh, it's, it. It's there, but the fact that that was a hyper requested ship, I think since the beginning, um, and it never came out. I, I gave up hope a long, long time ago. Yeah. But, uh, yes, I mean, by all means, give me, let me round off the, round off the collection. Give me the C, give me the future Enterprise as a pure mirror ship and call it a day. Phaser, Lance, and all. Yeah, that's a place where I think they would use, they could use that, uh, uh, the bullseye arc would be the phaser lance. Yeah. Yeah. Like an eight attack die phaser lance. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Something crazy. Anyway, lots of good enterprises, though. It makes sense. It is the hero ship. It is. That's uh, all kinds of good stuff. Well, uh, you know, comments. Let us know what you liked about our rankings, what you didn't like, and uh, what enterprises might might you like to see in the game aside from the obvious ones even the obvious ones toss those in uh until next time keep brushing up your game take care everybody <laughs>